Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Today's video is a compilation of some projects that I made last year. And these items right here can be used for spring or summertime. They will carry you through the summertime season. They are also some items that I have huge requests for. A lot of times people will ask what video a certain item is in or project. And it's hard to go back and find these projects, but I have found them and I've put them in this video. So these are some of the most requested projects that I have done and I've compilated them and put them all in this video today. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video and as always, I hope y'all get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. I also have a huge announcement that I'd like to share with all of you. I have a new YouTube channel along with this one. This one will stay just like it is, but I also have a new channel. I hope you'll go over, join it, subscribe, and do all the things so we can stay connected. There's a huge announcement video over there, so I hope y'all go over, watch it, and like I say, subscribe to the channel. I will leave a link to it in a pinned comment and also in the description box. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is this wood drawer that I got at Goodwill. And I got it for $1.99, and I got it on um, Red Sticker Day, so I got it for $1. I think this is handmade. It was solid wood. So I just went over it with a couple of coats of white linen chalk paint. I'm not going to distress it, but then I'm going to add a piece of hardware that I purchased at Hobby Lobby on Half Price Day. So the little knob was only $3. So y'all, that's all I'm gonna do for this, but little wood drawers are so much fun to style and decorate in your home. There's so many options for them. You can stand them up, you can put things in them. You can also make these into recipe boxes. You can add florals and greenery to them. So, so many options for little wood drawers. Mm -hmm. Now the next project is going to be this thrifted frame. You can see somebody purchased it at Ross. They paid $18 for it. I think I paid $1.99. Now it does not have a back to it, so it does not have a stand. I thought it was absolutely beautiful though with that floral uh, design on the front of it. The glass was glued in. You couldn't take it out. So basically I just spray painted the back of the glass and that way the front is going to be really sleek and slick so I just painted the back with some white spray paint and I went over the floral the um, the front of it with some white chalk paint now I'm just going to add a an IOD transfer to the front of it and then I'm going to set it up I'm not going to turn it long ways I'm going to turn it horizontal and hang it or you know set it this way and also you could add a hanger to it and you could actually hang it up also what's it like Okay, the next item I'm going to upcycle is going to be this little brown planter box. Now, I also scored this at the Goodwill, y'all, and I only paid $4.99 for it. And the day I went, blue tack was half off. So I got it for $2.50. I just applied some white chalk paint to it. And now you know I'm going to add one of my favorite transfers. This comes out of the IOD Brocant transfer book. And as always, I will leave all the transfer books and the products that I use in today's video down below in my description box. And I'll also have them in a pinned comment at the top of all the comments. So I decided I wanted to make this two-sided. So I was going to add this graphic to the other side. So I'd have two sides and I could flip it around. <laughs> well, this side turned out great. And I went around kind of distressed a little bit with my sandpaper. This was a fail. I'm not sure why this transfer would not adhere, but it didn't. Like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance. Okay, 
Okay, the next project is going to be a piece that I got at Goodwill, and I paid $5.99 for this. But y'all, I absolutely love this, and I think this was half off because on Blue Tag Day, you get it half off. So this had some, like, um, some faux rust on it. It's got that glaze finish to it. It looks like a utensil holder. So if you don't if you don't happen up on one at the thrift store, I found it on Amazon. So I actually have this piece. If you are interested, I have it in my Amazon store, and it's going to be under farmhouse decor. But y'all, I love this piece. Not going to do anything to it. It doesn't need anything. So this would be great. You know, you can add florals to this, use it as a vase, and like I say, you can also use this in your kitchen as a utensil holder. Now I'm going to show y'all a cute little stuffed bunny that I found at Goodwill. He was just laying up in the Easter or the seasonal uh, decor aisle, and he was only $1.99. Y'all, I love bunnies, and I'll keep them out all year long. So I showed y'all this little trick in one of my past videos, but you can buy little baby headbands, and they're already in a bow shape, so you don't have to do anything to them. And the ones that I purchased, got them at Burke's Outlet, but I found some that you get a whole bunch more, and I linked them in my Amazon store. I think you got 12 uh, in that set for less than $10. So these make great little embellishments for any of your items that, you know, like I say, if you don't want to make a bow or you don't have time, just stick one of these cute little headbands on it, and you've got a great little embellishment. Okay, the next project is going to be this cute little galvanized chalkboard stand. Now, I paid $2.99 for it, and I think I got it half off. Now, this right here is, um, it's got like a little wood base to it, so I decided to go on and just chalk paint the whole thing white. And I also went over it with some satin spray paint just to give it more of a smooth finish. Now, I'm going to take the new Iron Orchid Design Transfers, Y'all, I love these. They've got several sheets in them that are little uh, floral patterns. So I, I was dying to use one of these, and this project was perfect for it. It fit on it really good because it was just the perfect size. So I applied that to it. You always go over it with your little clear sheet just to burnish it on to make sure you've got a, you know, it's got good contact. And then that's all I'm going to do to this piece. Now this just will make a great piece to set up in our spring and our summer vignettes. Hey. Hey, the next item that I got at Goodwill was this huge basket. Y'all, this is a great basket. It only paid $3.99 for it. It's a very good size. It's got this very nice handle on it. It's very sturdy. You could put throws and blankets in it. It's that big. But I'm going to show you some ways of how you can style it for spring and summer. My friend Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage, bless her heart, I've been looking for these lavender picks at Walmart, and my Walmart never got them. So she was so sweet and went and got me some and, and sent them to me. So thank you so much, Sherry. But I just added some really pretty lavender to this basket. I got this new lace umbrella from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked in my store. And just it just adds such a great little, you know, piece to my vignettes. And then also, baskets can be so inexpensive if you find them out at yard sales or thrift stores. Okay, y'all, the next project is probably going to be one of my most favorite DIYs ever. I picked up this window at a yard sale, and I think I paid a couple of dollars for it. A lot of times you can find old windows, very inexpensive. So, and a lot of times they'll be at yard sales, and sometimes you can find them at antique stores real, at a really good price. So, I'm going to paint the windows, and I'm going to paint the back, because the front, I'm going to add some transfers to. So that is what it looks like once I got a, several layers on the back where I had full coverage and you can also go over it with spray paint. Now I'm going to use this beautiful transfer and I have this linked in my Amazon store. It'll either be under the transfer category or the stencils. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the process of having a whole category for transfers and getting them out of the stencil section. But y'all, this just screams me. I love it. 
So it's got a beautiful rose floral um, design on it. It's got some French wording. So in this um, transfer right here is really easy to use because it's got really good grid marks to where you can line it up and you can also cut it and you can cut it straight so you can line it up. So it's perfect for this project. Now you can also go over the, the, the center of the window with a transfer, but I chose to cut my transfers down the middle, down those little grid lines, and then just do each pane separately. And that's what I did. And I just went really slow and I did one section at a time. And you can see I always put my transfers down with some, using some painter's tape once I get them positioned. And then that way that painter's tape will hold it, your transfer down. So when you remove the white backing, it will stay in place. And that was all I did. And you just go over it with your little scraper tool that they give you. And then you just, you know, work your way around. And so I just go to the next side. <clears throat> I lined up my transfer on the other side. And then I did the same thing. I just applied it to the front of the window. And then you want to go over it with a clear backing just to burnish it to make sure you've got a good adhesion and everything is, you know, made good contact. And applying the glass with the transfer to me was really easy. You Like I say, just kind of work slow and in sections. And I don't know, this project maybe took me maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So, and then when I got to the bottom, I did the same thing. I just kind of lined it up um, on each side. And this is how I did my painter's tape. I would tape it at the top once I got it positioned. And then I would just remove that, black, um, that white backing. And once I got done, I went over it really good. I burnished the rest of it, and it's done. So, y'all, this is going to make a beautiful piece that I can hang up anywhere in my home. I haven't decided exactly where I want to put it, but I've always wanted to make one of these. So, like I say, if you're interested in this beautiful transfer, I'll have this, and there's also some other really pretty ones that I've got in my Amazon store. And I've actually got a couple that I've already purchased, but I just haven't used them yet. So... So I hope y'all enjoyed this, and um, you know, like I say, if you see those vintage windows or any kind of window out, pick them up. They make great DIY project pieces. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so. This is, I don't know, it looks like a wagon wheel. It's its not wood. It's some kind of other material. But I paid $2.99 for it. As soon as I saw it, I thought this just screamed spring to me. Because I could see this, you know, painted and we can put a wreath on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, chalk paint it with some white chalk paint. I go over it with a couple of layers. Let that dry really good. And then I went over it with some sandpaper and I distressed it. Now I gave it a good little rough up with the sandpaper because I wanted it to look really worn and distressed. Now all I'm going to do to this now to decorate it is I'm going to add a little wreath to it. And I added a really rustic ticking stripe bow. Now this made a beautiful piece that I can hang up in my home. You could also put this on a front door. Like I say, to me, it just screams spring wreath. So I just wanted to give you an idea of things that you may see at the thrift store that may be a really unique item. Just give you more ideas and inspiration of how you can decorate and use them in your home. The next project is going to be a thrifted one. I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this $2 frame and we're going to make a beautiful floral bouquet. So it has beautiful ornate feature to it. So I think this is going to make a gorgeous piece of wall decor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with a couple of layers of white linen chalk paint. And then I'm going to take a piece of Dollar Tree foam board, cut it down to size of my frame, and then I'm going to cover it with a piece of drop cloth. Yeah, I'll see me do this in a lot of projects, but I just take my hot glue and I go around all the edges and I glue it down. So now I've got a great background. Now I'm going to use the Painterly Florals, the IOD transfer book, and it's got three different kinds of flowers in it, and it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to take these blooms, and I think these are either roses or, or peonies, 
but I'm going to take them and I'm going to start in the center of my foam board and work out because what I want to do is I want to create and design a bouquet of these. So I just started in the center and I placed down my first stem and then I'm just going to work out. Now I'm just going to go and I'm going to take various um, blooms. Now this book is awesome because it, it gives you different stages of blooms. It'll give you some that aren't as bloomed out as much and then it'll give you some that are really full. It gives you a lot of um, leaves so you can go in and fill in with different kind of leaves you know once you get your bouquet done and then also it gives you um, different kinds of stems. So it gives you some short ones, it gives you some, some long ones. And you can also cut your stems down to size. So just have fun with it. So once I started in the center, like you, like you can see, I'm just working my way out and I'm placing my stems as I go and you, and you know, I'm just kind of overlapping them just so they, you know, will kind of come together. And um, this was a fun project, but I'm not going to lie to you. At first, it, I just kind of complicated it because I couldn't decide how I wanted to, des to design it. But once I got started, and like I say, just start, start in the center and just kind of work your way out and take your time with it. But once I got started applying them, then it got really fun. And it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be. But, you know, I just added as many blooms as I felt like I needed to cover my foam board. And then I just went over it, you know, each time with my little transparent um, sheet. And that way it makes your transfer it here to your base really well. I went in, I added some of the leaves that they provide for you in the transfer book. I just cut out separate little leaves and I kind of placed them around just to kind of add a little bit more fullness in my bouquet and then I also added some French wording at the bottom. This French wording is just a piece I had left over from a previous project and I think this come out of the Brocant transfer book. But y'all, I think this turned out so pretty. And it also, I also added that little stem of rosebuds that is in the transfer book also. So I hope y'all get this transfer book and make, you know, a project like this because once I got started this was so much fun and now I think it just made a really pretty piece that I can set out for spring and summertime. I also wanted to give you a little bit more inspiration and ideas for this wall decor. You could also add a bow or some ribbons to it to give it more of a 3D effect. next project I'm going to upcycle a project that I've already worked on. This was a shovel and I did a video on this a while back but my mother gave me her old shovel. So I chalk painted it and I displayed it in another video of how I decorated it but this summer I'm going to add a little bit to it. I'm going to add a, a transfer to it and this come out of the Brocant IOD transfer book. And the Brocant transfer book is another really good transfer book to get if you're struggling on which one to get because it is it's overwhelming like which one do I get <laughs> you know they're all good but I I think I've went through two Brocamp books because they have so many great you know French country and shabby chic style transfers in it but I'm going to add one of those to my shovel and now I'm just going to decorate it and style it for you. I'm going to show you real quick how I added a bow to it. I just looped and tied a piece of cream colored um, burlap and then I took three strips of burlap and I just piled them on top of each other and I'm just going to tie them in the center of that bow with a piece of twine and that is that easy and that's the bow I made for it. It just kind of made it give it a little rustic look and the little plaque that um, I attached to it that come out of the Target dollar spot a couple years ago, it was $1. So I just tied that on there. I thought it had a great little thing to it as far as gardening and planting, you know, to put on my shovel. Okay, the next project is going to be a pair of sunglasses. Now you can pick these up at yard sales and thrift stores or you may just have some old ones around the house. I got these at a yard sale 
And I also did a video a couple of years ago, or maybe last year, where I put vintage pictures in them. And I'll link it below if you want to go out and see some more ideas with sunglasses. But all I did was I spray painted my sunglasses white. And then I'm just going to show you how easy it is to add some transfers to your sunglasses. Now you can add anything transfers to your sunglasses that you want to. You can even put your stamps on them. Just get creative with the lenses and decorate them any way you want to. But this is such a fun project and just, you know, and these are just fun if you set these out in your summer vignettes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next project is going to be a little wooden uh, napkin holder. Now, I got this at Goodwill, and I think I paid $1.99 for it. It's real wood, but I thought this would really, you know, paint well. So, I painted it with a couple of coats of white linen chalk paint, and I went around the edges, and I distressed it. Now, I'm going to add a transfer to it, and I'm going to show you what happens Sometimes if you do not seal your paint before you put on transfers, sometimes it, I, I don't seal and I have good luck with the transfers, but sometimes you do need to seal. That's what happened. <laughs> it lifted off my paint. <laughs> so I just wanted to leave this footage in here just to show you sometimes you do need to put a top coat over your paint, let it dry really well, then apply your transfer. But I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take some of these little wooden emblems. You get four to a pack of these on Amazon and I'm going to have these linked in my Amazon store. And I just go over it, you know, I just applied it with wood glue. I let it dry, then I'll go around it again with some white linen chalk paint, just going around my emblem and my edges just to make... Make it look like it is, you know, made into the little napkin holder. Now, when I style it, I'm going to show you both sides because I think both sides will work. Even with the little transfer failure, it just makes it look old and chippy. So, just want to show you sometimes failed projects, you know, just go with it. You know, we always go for that distressed worn look and I think that's, you know, what it looks like. So, so now we got a cute little napkin holder. We can sit out and it looks a little French country and a little shabby chic. Okay, the next project is going to be another frame. Now, this one I purchased at a yard sale, and I paid a quarter for it. So, it's brown, and I, I'm going to chalk paint it white, and I'm going to distress it. And as you can see, it, it distresses really well because it's got some rough texture to it, so I didn't really even have to distress it with sandpaper. I just kind of lightly went over it with my paint. So now I'm going to cover this glass with drop cloth and I'm going to do it just like I did in the previous project. You just want to go around with your hot glue and just glue it down on all the sides. And once you get it, you know, on, then I'm going to, I'm going to add some transfers to it. Now I got the inspiration for this sunflower and lavender design from Sonnets Garden and Bloom. And make sure, I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below, but she did a beautiful black cabinet and put this design on it, and it was gorgeous. So I wanted to, um, so that's where I got inspired to do this design. But this is from the Painterly Floral Transfer Book also, the transfer book that I used in my previous um, project. It also has, like I told you, sunflowers and lavender sprigs. Now, these transfer books go a long way. <laughs> I've made a bunch of projects with just one transfer book. So, you get, you know, a lot of transfers for the money. So, I'm just going to apply the really pretty, you know, they give you some really good stems for the sunflowers. So, I just, you know, um, transferred my stem on and now I'm going to put my sunflower and it has different sunflower blooms to choose from. You can get the ones that bloom from the side. You, they have some that, you know, bloom the front, you know, forwards. So you can just have your pick of what kind of bloom you want. But I thought this one was beautiful. So I applied that and now I'm going to just take some of the little lavender sprigs. I cut them in half because they're long and, you know, you can reuse the other part of these on another project. 
And so I'm just going to put my lavender down there. And now in this area, if you didn't want to put the lavender sprigs, you could always put some kind of French wording. You could also get your stamps out and you could put some stamps down there in that area. Now I'm going to put it back into the frame and I'm just going to dab some hot glue in each corner and then just put it back and it'll secure it in the frame really well. Now once I get it done, I'm going to show you too how you can just kind of beef up your, your picture frames. If you've got a good enough frame that has a good border around it, you can add transfers to the border of your frames. And so this one, I just took a little bit of French wording. You know, I always have little pieces left over from previous projects of my transfers. So I just added some wording to the top and also to the bottom. And that just added another little bit of detail to this really pretty little summer wall decor. Okay, y'all, the next project is one that is so much fun to do, and that is windows. And again, I have another video of another window I did like this, and I will link it uh, down below. Um, but I'm going to add a transfer to this window. What you want to do is take a window, and I got this at a yard sale for $2, and you want to paint the back of it. So, because we're going to apply transfers to the front, you can paint it on with paintbrush, but in this one, I have spray painted it. And this is the transfer that I'm going to use for it, and I'll have it linked in my Amazon store also. I'm going to use all the sections of it except the one that you see on the right. I'm not going to use it, but I will use it on an upcoming project, so stay tuned. But I'm just going to use the parts that will fit on my window, and I just went, and I, I'm going to... I cut them with a little razor blade where the, the panes of the window were, and then you will just, you know, I'm just going to work it over the glass. Now, if you want to work it over the window pane and not cut it, you could also do that. So I just li lined up each section on my window and went over it with my little scraper and applied it, and it's that easy. And like I say, this is the second window I've done, and if I can find any more, I'm going to do some more. But Amazon has a huge selection of really pretty transfers also, and I have a lot of them linked in my Amazon store. So if you need some transfers, you know, some larger ones, maybe for a window piece or a furniture piece or just a big one to cut apart and use for smaller projects, just make sure to go out and check out my Amazon store and they'll be under the transfer section. I was just a little girl when my mama used to say Okay, y'all, let's get started making some really pretty decor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little metal bicycle. Now, this come off a piece of wall decor that I purchased at Big Lots a few years ago, and I've already upcycled the wall decor, so I'd save this little bike. Well, I'm going to show y'all just an easy way to embellish a wreath. Now, y'all know I am not a wreath maker, <laughs> so I'm going to take a boxwood wreath that I have, and I'm just going to put this little bicycle on it. I'm going to show you how easy it was just to tie it on. You know, I, of course, I spray painted it white, but just an easy way that you can embellish a wreath, and even if you are not a wreath maker like I am, just something easy like this, and a lot of times you can find these little metal bicycles and stuff at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I'll also try to link a boxwood wreath similar to the one that I have in my Amazon store. Okay, the next project, we're going to upcycle this little metal planner. Now, I don't know how much I paid for it because I got it at a yard sale and I bundled it with several other items. So, I didn't pay a lot for it. 
but I'm going to paint it white and I'm going to show you a couple of ways we can decorate it and embellish it. I'm going to take this little stencil and this will be in my Amazon store under the stencil category. Now this one right here is just the right size to go on one of the sides of my container. Now I've always told y'all if you have an item that has two sides, you can always decorate both sides and flip them around and you've got you know, two decor pieces really for, you know, the price of one. So I'm going to put this little stencil on one side and I just put it on with some black chalk paint. And y'all, I chalk painted this with white. I went back and forth on the distressing and at the end, I decided to take a lot of the distressing off. Now the other side, I'm just going to add a little scrap of an IOD transfer that I had left over and I'm just going to put it on there. But you could also add another stencil to the back of it or even a stamp. So just going to show you just these little details like this on little metal containers, you know, and you can just make them, you know, a little shabby chic and put some florals in them and they just turn out to be some really pretty uh, decor pieces. Now here I'm just taking some little uh, fabric florals. Now I get these at Hobby Lobby on the wedding um, section aisle. I, I, that's one of my favorite aisles and sections at Hobby Lobby is the wedding aisle. They have some of the cutest little decor pieces, and if you go half off day, you get these very inexpensive. I think those were less, I think they were around like a couple of dollars. I added a little pearl in the center of one, and those are some little pearls you can get at Dollar General, and I think you can get them at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to show you some different options now how we can, you know, have two sides to our little container and we can flip it around and enjoy both designs. Okay, the next project is going to be another yard sale find. Now, I got this a couple of years ago and I paid $2 for it. I've had it in my, in my supplies for a while. So now it is time. We're going to make this into a pretty piece of decor. Now, I'm going to spray paint it white. And y'all, we got a new um, paint sprayer from Amazon. And I will have it linked in my store. It's called The Critter. We are loving it. It's a game changer for spraying your projects. And you also save money on paint. So we just went over it with a couple of layers of the white paint. And then I'm going to style it for you now with some thrifted dishes. Y'all, I always love to pick up my dishes at the thrift store. So I'm just going to give you some options of different ways that you can style a piece like this in your home. Okay, the next project is going to be a Goodwill find. Now, I think I paid $4.99 for this. It is all metal, but this just screamed little mini floral cart to me. So, of course, I thought this would be a beautiful spring or summer decor piece. So, we're going to spray paint this white while we've got the critter out and it's full of paint. We went to town on some projects that day, so we gave it a couple of coats of white paint. And now it'll be a great piece that we can display florals and greenery in. And I think it pairs really well with our wreath that we made. Okay, the next project is going to be a cute little tea towel I'm going to show you that's going to be super easy and very affordable to make. You'll want to take a flower sack cloth or a tea towel, and I will have these supplies listed in my Amazon store. And uh, this little bird stamp, 
I just received it and it is in the six to seven dollar range when I purchased it. But anyway, I will have it listed, but I have made a previous project in my last week's video with it and I absolutely love this stamp. But you just want to take a piece of cardboard. I used a no scrap cereal box put it up under your flower sack cloth, just so the, the top layer, just so your stamp won't bleed through, apply your ink and just press it on to your flower sack cloth and it's that easy. Now you can make so many things with this little bird stamp. And I'm gonna show you a couple more projects coming up in the video of a couple more things that I made with it. But this is a really fun stamp to get. So hopefully um, y'all go out, shop my Amazon store, and you know, and, and have fun with it. Okay, the next project is gonna be another really easy and affordable project. That's what I'm trying to bring to you today. It's just real affordable home decor pieces that we can make and that are fine. You're just gonna need a frame. This is one that I thrifted and I think I paid a dollar for it and then I just painted it white. Now I've got a couple of cards from a couple of my sweet friends, viewers that watch my channel, Michelle and Karen. They sent me some cards and I think they're absolutely beautiful. The words that they wrote in them and then to the fronts of them. So I've saved them. So just an easy way that you can make some really pretty decor for your home. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just take some thrifted frames or some old frames you have, you paint them and then put in some really pretty note cards or cards. And then that way, every time I look at these little frame cards, I always think of Michelle and Karen because I know those cards were sent from them with love. So just another little inexpensive idea of, you know, ways that you can decorate your home on a budget. Okay, let's go to the next project. This is gonna be a Goodwill find. This is a little wooden crate, and I have done one of these in the past in a video, and I loved uh, making over these. They're so much fun. But I paid $4.99 for it, and we're gonna go over it with a couple of coats of white spray paint. And again, we're still using our critter. We're just out spray painting all kinds of things on this day. Now I'm gonna take a little, um, this is a little plaque, and it's got like black chalk paint on it. I think this was a Hobby Lobby piece. I picked this up actually at a yard sale and I got two of them in different shapes and I paid a dollar each. And I went with that, that same stencil that I used in my previous project. I just put it on with some white chalk paint and then I'm gonna put some ribbons through the little holes and to make them a little bit bigger, I just took my scissors and I just kind of, you know, worked it a little bit bigger with my scissors or you could also use a screwdriver, <laughs> which is probably preferable so you don't ruin your scissors. Those scissors right there are pretty dull. But I'm just gonna tie it on. Y'all know I make a lot of my ribbons and lace out of old bed sheets. This is just one that got wore out. Instead of throwing it away, I just rip it up and I make my own lace and ribbon from it. Now I'm just gonna tie this little plaque I made under the front of my little crate and then I'll decorate it for you and show you some little ways that you can decorate it for spring and summertime. Okay, now we're gonna take some little bags that I got at Dollar Tree. Now I got these a few months ago and I've had them, but didn't know what I wanted to do with them, but I got the perfect project. I got three of these. One's got an orange back, one's got a red, and one's got a blue. We're gonna take the cute little bird stamp and we're also, again, gonna put a piece of cardboard in between our little layers of purse because we don't want the ink to bleed through. So just to make sure you've got a good backing on it and that way you won't have any bleed through on the other side. 
Now I'm going to show you three different ways of how you can decorate your little birds. I'm going to take this stencil, and this is uh, linked in my Amazon store, and I love this one. I'm just going to take the top two lines of it, and I'm going to stencil it on with some black chalk paint, and I'm using the Jamie Ray Vintage Stencil Brush. So y'all, if you want a good stencil brush that don't bleed, this is a really good one. This is a Jamie Ray Vintage Stencil Pack. My friend Jackie, Jackie at Ruth and Ruby, she sells these in her store. So I will have all of Jackie's information listed below. This is a great little stencil set right here. They all are in French, but they all pertain to love. So all of these are really good ones to have if you wanna add just a little bit of French wording to your projects. But here's just some ideas of inspiration of some ways that you can decorate the little burlap bags. And you can also make these little bags out of a piece of burlap and just hot glue them together and make your own bag if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. But just another little idea of something fun to do with stencils and stamps. <laughs> Okay, in this project, we're going to take another Dollar Tree piece. This is a clipboard. You can get these um, very inexpensive different places, um, but Dollar Tree does sell these. I've had this one for a while. Actually, I've done several projects with it, so it's already painted, but I did freshen it up with a fresh coat of white chalk paint. I just went over the whole thing, and then I'm just going to glue one of these little wooden ornate pieces that I have in my Amazon store. They come four to a pack, and I love decorating with these. These make great embellishments. I just hot glued it on to the clip, and then you can add any kind of, you know, decor to your little clipboard that you want to. I just took a song sheet, and I used a little bird stamp again just to give you an idea of how easy it is to make something real affordable to set up in your spring and summer vignettes. Next project is gonna be a free one for me because my mom gave me this piece to upcycle. She had this hanging over her kitchen sink for years and she said that the light over her sink had faded it through the years. So she asked if I thought, you know, I could make something out of it. And I said, absolutely. So I just took it. I took the, the print off the front of it. It peeled off. I got that worked off. And then I went over it with a sanding block just to smooth my base. Now I'm going to use this transfer book. And anytime you need any of the IOD or the Jamie Ray Vintage products, always reach out to my friend Jackie at Ruth and Ruby. And I'll have her info down below. But I'm going to use this sheet right here. And this sheet is almost like an oversized uh, seed packet um, ad. These right here are so vivid in color. I love the bright red and I love the writing with this. These are absolutely beautiful and I think you get a couple to four sheets of these and I've used these in several of my videos and on several projects and they turn out beautiful each time. Very detailed. So I just applied it. Now I'm going to take a little wood ornate emblem and I get these um, from my Amazon store and I have a lot of these linked in my store and I'll have that down below also. So I always have these on hand because you get four of these to a pack and so they're always nice to have. Now I'm gonna add that little vintage um, paper clip because I'm gonna add some vintage paper dolls onto it. Now y'all, my friend Michelle, she says she had had these for many years. She sent me these just out of the gracious of her heart and said, I hope you can use them and I hope you'll enjoy them. Thank you so much, Michelle, for thinking of me and passing these on to me. I absolutely love them. So I just put one of the little vintage paper dolls on it and you can see what a beautiful piece this turned out. So I hope my mom is proud of this because she watches every one of my videos. So mama, I hope you like the little project that I created with your little wall decor piece and thanks for giving it to me. 
Okay, the next project is going to be this little this little drawer. Now it has two drawers to it and you can see it's got little mustache handles. I paid $3.99 for it. I guess this was, you know, created to, I don't know, maybe store your shaving supplies in, but I removed the little mustache handles. They just popped right off and then I went and I sanded the front of the drawers because as you can see it left like, you know, a mark where they were. So I sanded the piece really well, and then I applied two coats of Rust-Oleum white linen chalk paint, and then I distressed it around the edges with a sanding block. Now the drawers distressed really well, and I went back and forth on what to put on them. Do I just put knobs on them? You know, do I put a stencil? Well, I'm going to go with this IOD stamp, and this is from the Merry and Bright IOD stamps that come out at Christmas time. But check out, again, my friend Jackie over at Ruth and Ruby, and she may still have these in stock. But I just took this one because it doesn't look very Christmassy to me. Now, I inked it down with black IOD ink, and I always go around it with a baby wipe just to make sure you don't have any excess around the edges of your border. And then I'm just going to apply it to both the drawers. Now, I went back and forth again whether I should put a knob in the center, but the knobs that I had, I don't know, they just look like they were too oversized. So, I'm just going to leave the little drawers like they are. I'm going to pull one out and then I'm going to display some really pretty florals and greenery in it for spring and summer. The next project, I think, is something is <laughs> creators and crafters, we're all out looking for, and that's magazine racks, because these are so much fun to recreate, and I did not see this one when I went to Goodwill the day I was shopping. I actually was at the checkout and just kind of turned around, took one last look, and it was right, right behind me. Now, I paid $7.99 for it. Now, I, I featured the critter in my last video, so and I'm going to list it down in my description box and at the end of this one. But we got a new spray gun, and I have it linked in my Amazon store, and we're absolutely loving it. It will really be a game changer for spray, in, spray paint in your projects. But we spray painted it, and I distressed it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of transfer to the end to one of the ends and this I used in my last video on a project but I'm just taking pieces of this it's a very large transfer but I'm just taking bits and pieces of it and I have it linked in my Amazon store and that's what I'm going to do on this I want like some script writing and it sometimes it's hard to find you know script writing I do have some stamps that have some script and I also have some stencils but to me it was not the right size of what I needed I needed something that was pretty large so this I felt like fit the best and since this writing is so big I'm just going to work this in sections so I just cut my sections apart and then I'm just going to you know apply them individually until I get them placed the way I want them and then that kind of looked like a signature so I just kind of cut it out by itself and I put it right in the center now there's a little crown on this sheet there was also a honeybee kind of so I kind of went back and forth of which one I wanted but I'm going to go with the crown and I'm just going to put it right there in the center at the top just to kind of you know balance the whole thing out on that one end now I don't put anything on the other end I'm just going to leave it like it is because the way I'm going to place it you're not going to be able to see it anyway and then for the front I'm going to add this little this is a little fresh flower plaque that I got at Target a few years ago and I paid I think it said three dollars now I'm going to put some ribbons through it this is just some some old bed sheets I just rip them in shreds and I make my own ribbon so anytime you find bed sheets at the thrift store you have some that have just gotten worn out never throw those away because they make great ribbons and bows and I'm just going to tie that little plaque on I'm going to put a little spring summer hat straw hat in it with some beautiful florals and now I feel like I've got a really pretty piece that I can decorate for all the seasons
I'm not sure if I got this at a yard sale or Goodwill. I think I got it at Goodwill, but I cannot remember what I paid for it. Maybe two to three dollars. But you can see it's got some little dried flowers in it. It's got that little urn piece in it. But I love shadow boxes. Now I've had this in my supplies for a while because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. So today is the day we're going to come up with something for it. First thing I did was I just took it apart. I went in, I unscrewed all the little little screws and I detached the frame and it's got like a little 8 by 10 mat. I took out those little dried flowers in the urn. Now I thought I might would use the urn but I'm not. I'll save it for another project. Now I go over the whole box with a couple of coats of white swan DIY paint. Now the white swan is kind of a, a mix between a cream and a white but it's a beautiful color and I added another one of those transfers I added in my first project out of the same transfer book and like I say this transfer book has got some beautiful graphics in it. So I just applied that to the back of my shadow box and now you can see how really pretty it is. Now I went back and forth of what you know to put around it but I'm going to go with a larger frame that I already had in my supplies. I've already painted this frame from previous projects. It, it, back in the day it was silver but I just went over it with the white swan paint just so it'll match my shadow box and I'm just going to use some hot glue and I um, you know applied it to the little shadow box and now it makes a great piece for me to display my vintage pieces. Okay, the next project is going to be a really simple one, but it's going to turn out so pretty. You're going to need a frame and a page out of a book. I'm going to take a little song sheet and I'm just going to use my glass and I'm going to attach a little song sheet to the glass and I'm going to use some spray adhesive. I always go outside when I, when I spray this because it's strong. And then I just went over it with my brayer and I flattened out the wrinkles. Now I'm just going to attach it back into the frame. I've just dabbed some little, you know, some uh, hot glue in the corners. I'm going to attach that back in. And then I got this really cute little bird stamp. Y'all, this is on, in my Amazon store. And it will be in the stamps in the transfer category. But I absolutely love these birds and I know I'm going to enjoy these. Now I'm just going to apply some ink. And here's a tip. When you store your ink, store it upside down, your ink pad. That way your ink will not run to the bottom and it won't dry out as fast. So I'm just going to apply the stamp onto the song sheet and look how pretty this piece turned out. Such an easy and affordable project. And now it's, you know, I can display this in my home now for spring and summer because birds are always so pretty for this time of the season. Okay, y'all, we are coming toward the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing all these projects, and I hope you got some inspiration and ideas for some things that you may want to make for your home. If you want more ideas and inspiration, I'm going to leave a full playlist down below of the original videos because they have a lot more content in them and a lot more detail. And remember, a lot of the products that I used in this video today can be found in my Amazon store and also over at my friend Jackie at Ruth the Ruby. Do not forget to go over and check out my new channel, Teresa Green. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoy the big announcement and we are excited to bring some new content along to y'all over on this new channel. As always, I appreciate y'all, I love y'all, and I hope to see y'all again in my next video. Bye, y'all.